It really doesn't matter who you were rooting for in Thursday night's BCS National Championship game between OU and Florida. The game was ugly. Due to countless stoppages caused by injuries, commercials, and at times seemingly clueless referees, the first five minutes of the game seemed to take an hour. That took a toll on the Sooners offense, a high caliber offense that depends on rhythm and speed. The result was a slow death at the hands of the Gators. Sooners and Gators enter the national championship game with 12-1 records. Florida looking for its second championship in three years. OU looking for its eighth overall. Sooners failed to score on the opening drive for only the third time this season. In fact, no one got on the board in the first quarter. But early in the second, Florida drew first blood when Tim Tebow threw the 20-yard touchdown pass to Lewis Murphy. Florida led 7-0. After rushing for negative one yard in the first quarter, Chris Brown gained 80 yards in the second quarter, and OU capped a six-play, 65-yard drive with a six-yard touchdown pass from Sam Bradford to Jermaine Gresham. Score was tied 7-7. It looked like the Sooners might grab the momentum in the second quarter when big Gerald McCoy picked off Tebow for his first career interception. The nation's most efficient team in the red zone came up short, and Brown was shut down in fourth and goal. Late in the half, the Sooners would threaten again, but the drive ended when Bradford's pass bounced off the hands of Manny Johnson and eventually into the hands of Emmanuel Moody. It was 7-7 at the half. Still no offensive fireworks in the third. Florida was the only one to get on the board, and it didn't happen until Percy Harbin ran in from two yards out with four minutes remaining in the quarter. Florida led 14-7. In the fourth quarter, OU drove right back down the field, though. Bradford found Brown on the sideline for the 25-yard gain. Brown ran for 110 yards and caught two passes for 37 yards. The eight-play, 77-yard drive was capped by the 11-yard pass to Gresham. It was tied at 14. That was Gresham's 14th touchdown catch of his career a school record for tight ends. But midway through the fourth, with the Sooners driving, Bradford's pass goes through the hands of Joaquin Iglesias and is picked off by Ahmad Black. OU's defense would hold Florida to a field goal, but the Gators would wear down the Sooners late. Tebow seals it with a four-yard jump pass to David Nelson with three minutes remaining. Florida wins at 24-14. OU finishes with 363 total yards. Game MVP Tim Tebow winds up with 340 total yards by himself and another national title. Despite another BCS loss, Bob Stoops was proud of the way his guys played. They're, they're, they're great kids. I, I, uh, young men, I, I told the seniors in there, I'm just incredibly proud of them. I thought they did an, a, a, a fabulous job this entire year of, of the attitude of our team, uh, the way we took the field, the attitude throughout the whole season could not have been much better. I, I, I was incredibly pleased. I, was, I told them I was proud of them. And, um, you know, and then they're, they're on to other things but I, as seniors. But, but I'm, uh, they did a great job for us and represented Oklahoma great. I mean, you got so much you want to say after a game like that because it was two great teams who went at it and battled. And we had a chance to win it. We had, I mean, we, it was right there just like it was right there for them, and they took advantage. We just didn't make the plays, and they did. That's why they won. It was right, it was right there for both teams. You know, our, our guys played, you know, as the course of the season went along with better and better chemistry, a lot of new components uh, to the whole, and, and, uh, and uh, again, guys really battled tonight, you know, just we weren't quite good enough. No, I don't, you know, you, you guys, everyone will, they, they'll have their opinions on it. That's fine. In the end, um, I'll be glad to try it again next year. Um, you know, if that's the biggest burden I have to bear in my life, I'll be a pretty lucky guy. So uh, we'll, we're we going to do our best to be back at it, trying again next year. And, um, you know, we're, we'll keep going after them if it's all the same to everybody else. So in the end, missed opportunities in the national championship game lead to the biggest missed opportunity of all, what well, could have been an eighth national championship for the University of Oklahoma. Bob Stoops' brutal BCS bowl streak continues, and despite a valiant effort in a beautiful city, the end result is paradise lost. Reporting from Dolphin Stadium in Miami, Florida, Damon Fontenot, News OK TV.